And tonight we continue our series on Angola. A focus tonight that thousands of crafts inmates make to sell during the prison rodeo. And as our Justice Henderson found out, the rodeo and the craft projects help bring in half a million dollars every Sunday. For 11 months out of the year, inmates at Angola State Prison work day in and day out to create a variety of artwork to sell during rodeo season. Angola stuff. The hobby craft that I do is sort of a relaxation, sort of a therapy to help me just relax in the off hours from my regular job because everybody inside of the prison system has a five day a week, 40 hour job. John Sheehan's specialty, leather crafts. I think I really do really nice leather work and I get a lot of good compliments on the leather work that I do and so I do pretty good in the sales that I do because of the variety of things that I do with the leather. This right here I let go for three dollars. The craft section not only allows inmates to put money back in their own pocket, but the money raised also helps those inmates who are released back into society. Each item that you see, the each rocking chair or each painting that's sold, that guy will actually pay 5% into West Feliciana tax base, 5% into the state tax base, and then he keeps the remainder of that after he pays a very small rodeo infrastructure maintenance fee, and that allows him to be able to send money home. And that money can add up. We've actually put uh, children through college, birthday gifts, Christmas gifts, helped family members, and that's all part of what we do here in, at Angola and in Louisiana Corrections. Officials tell me it all comes down to learning life's lessons. It teaches me about business because I have to take the money that I make, earn enough of it to be able to reinvest, buy more products, raw products to make products, then have a little bit to spend for myself from the canteen. One mother who comes to visit every year during the rodeo says she's thankful for the opportunities that hobby crafts are bringing. I think that, you know, it's a great help to them because when he get out, he have a trade that, you know, he'd be able to be self-sufficient. All right, thank you. At Angola, Justice Henderson, KTC TV3.